Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am really appreciate your interest in this paper. It studies the input power estimation without additional sensors for a boost BFC. Here I'm going to take a few minutes to make a brief introduction about it. Let's start with looking at this block diagram of a power supply system first. It includes an AC to DC stage, a DC to DC stage with isolation, and synchronous rectification on the signal side. What the paper focuses on is here, the power metering function on the input. For quite some applications, for example like server or workstation power supplies, the input power measuring is required for validating the system setup or monitoring the power consumption. However, these additional sensors here not only bring extra cost and power consumption, but also make the system more complex and apparently less robust. So if we can achieve power estimation without these sensors, it will definitely bring considerable values to the power supply design. And plus, since there are more and more dedicated digital PFC controller IC available on the market nowadays, by doing so, there will be even a possibility to get rid of this primary side DSP eventually. That's going to be the ultimate goal of this research direction in the future. We will see why we think it is possible to achieve power estimation without those additional sensors in this paper. This is a boost PFC control, uh, converter in, implemented based on a current mode controller. Here we take HR211, a digital multi-mode PFC and LC combo controller from MPS as an example to work through the control scheme. In short, the control scheme samples the input voltage to get the phase information and samples the output voltage for power regulation. The regulation output multiplied by the input voltage provides a reference current for the boost inductor current control. In this way, the on-time and the off-time of the boost converter are both regulated and the inductor current is controlled in a sine wave based on the output of power regulation. We can see that in this PFC controller, there are both voltage and current information that can be used for power estimation, which are the sampled input voltage and the reference inductor current. But of course, these are not exactly the actual input voltage and current. The voltage is sampled here, so there are some actual voltage job on the passive component like the filters and the bridge dials. But it is also actually not that hard to compensate the difference based on the parameters of these components. The paper has provided the equations for the compensation. The error in the current, on the other hand, is more complicated. Based on the analysis in this paper, the current error is mainly caused by some plastic effects in the converter. In CCM conditions, the error is mainly caused by the turn on and the turn off delays. These delays result in overshoot and undershoot in current control. So the error can be calculated based on the voltage second model of the inductor like this. In DCM conditions, as the current always starts from zero, the turn on delay does not matter anymore but the overshoot caused by the turn-off delay is still there. Besides, the DCM oscillation brings another error into the current control. The effects become more obvious as the load decreases. So in order to get an accurate current, the oscillating current must also be taken into consideration. One more thing to be noticed is the DCM oscillation has two different patterns based on the relationship between the input voltage and the output voltage. 
when the input voltage is high, it's higher than the half of the output, it acts like free oscillations like this. But when the input voltage is lower than half of the output, the oscillation is clamped here in this period. When the body dial of the MOSFET conducts, so the current error modeling in DCM also need to cover both conditions. It's a conditional equation, and there is also detailed deductions and the, the complete equation set in the paper. Since the current error models are completely different in CCM and DCM, in order to derive the general equation for the input power estimation, the transition angular between CCM and DCM in each line cycle is also analyzed in this paper. The analysis shows that there are three different scenarios based on load and input conditions. It runs in complete CCM, in heavier load and lower input conditions, and complete DCM in lighter load and higher input conditions. And in between, it runs in partial DCM and partial CCM with a transition angular that is determined by the input voltage and the output current. With all those analysis in this paper, the input power can be estimated as this equation. First, a base item according to the sampled input voltage and the reference inductor current. And then followed by two error compensation atoms based on the CCM and the DCM error modeling and the transition angular detection. This theory has been verified on a 400 watts prototype based on HR1211. HR1211 as a digital PFC and RC combo controller has a UART interface that can program the chip and also read instant system states such as reference current and input voltage, which are used to implement the proposed equation for power estimation. These are the waveforms in low line, full load conditions, running in complete CCM with the input current in green and the inductor current in pink. These are high line full load running in mixed DCM and the CCM condition. These are low line light load running in complete DCM. The estimation results are being compared to actually measured result by power meter with pink line representing the proposed estimation results and the gray dash line representing the actually measured results. And this is for low line and this is for high line. It can be seen that the estimation error is smaller than 3% for a very wide operating range from 10% load to full load, which is a quite promising result. So it proves the feasibility to achieve input power estimation without additional sensors and in, rel in a relatively good accuracy also. These are what this paper is mostly about. Again, thank you very much for your attention. And if you are interested in further details, you may find in the full paper. And also, if you are interested in the prototype we used for the verification, you can visit monolithic.power.com, searching for HR1211. Thank you.